Alright, alright. Alright, so I mean, this is where it all pretty much starts to go downhill. Oh, you can't see anything. Oh my God. I think my camera sees more than my own eyes right now, and I can, <laughs> the camera barely sees anything. Explorers, what is going on? We are rushing this right now. We're going to a mausoleum. A mausoleum is like pretty much a cemetery, but in a building. So yeah, dead bodies are in there. Um, it's like a catacomb. It's, it's pretty interesting. People from World War I is in there. It's one of the oldest ones ever. And the thing is, we have to take this spooky, freaking haunted looking road to get there. Let's do it. Yeah. We got John here as well. Yo, yo, yo. I gotta try that drink soon. Bro, take this drink right now. And try All right, it. thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> It says organic on it, you know it's healthy after that. Oh yeah, oh. that raspberry berry stuff. Yo, I'm telling you, it's not clickbait when it's <laughs> organic. Exactly, <laughs> organic's healthy. Everything organic's healthy. It's a market scheme though, I swear. So about the mausoleum. So the mausoleum is like super old back in the 1800s. And what happened is right now the city is fighting with the people whose bodies are actually there, like inside the mausoleum, like the families are. Because right now it's condemned unsafe, so no one can go inside. So people's family members can't even be seen. They can't go inside the building because it's too much lead paint and asbestos. And it's pretty much falling apart. So let's say my, my grandma's there right now. I can't go see her. So the, the city's fighting with it. They've been going on for over a year or something. They probably settled by now on like what they're doing. But as far as I know, this rumor has it that people are robbing the graveyards. Like people are going inside and some of the bodies are being like, like taking their jewelry out. So it's pretty interesting and, and crazy and all screwed up. So that's exactly what we gotta do. We wanna go investigate and check it out. And we have to go through this haunted road to get there first. Like this road is no joke. People have died on this road. It's so windy and it's straight up like a horror movie. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Alright explorers, the road is called Tower Hill Road. I mean, just the name is like, oh damn, like it's all spooky and stuff. Alright, we're, we're on the road now. Yo. It's freaking bumpy too. Yo. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, nice. I gotta put my high beams on just to drive through this thing. Alright, so I mean, this is where it all pretty much starts to go downhill. But the more deeper you get in, like the more crazy it gets. And you have to go really slow because you don't know if like a car is gonna peep through. We should get out of here. Hey, let's do light. Look at this. If I turns my, my lights off, oh, you can't see anything. Oh my God. I think my camera sees more than my own eyes right now, and, I can, <laughs> and the camera barely sees anything. Dude, I'm gonna pull over here. Yeah, pull over. Let's take a walk out here. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna get lost out here. Oh Dude, I feel like my car could get hit. I even pulled over to the side. Yeah, this might not be good. Let's get out of no here. No worries. If we wash, we'll the leave car, the car on so people yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, it's like right outside. And I got my light now. Oh, I see like a light up there. Yeah, it's blinking. I just want to get out of here already and just get out and go to Hong Kong, but I can't because I'm stuck here training for a boxing match. That's February 4th before I can go, but it's going to be all done and filmed on the internet. Also, because I've been home, I've been working on the dopest clothing brand, clothing line ever. It's called Rise Above, and that's going to be hitting the internet in like two weeks. I promise you, explorers, it's going to be the dopest merch to hit YouTube. I swear to God. All right, maybe I'm amping it up way too much, but I promise you it's going to be like really dope. It's like straight up like street wear, abandoned style vibes. And finally, I have a good team who's making it happen for me. Uh, we've been designing stuff together, working together, and it's gonna be hitting the store soon. Other news, uh, also, there's something called the Shorty Awards. And I've been nominated for the Travel Vlogger, that category. And it would mean so freaking much if you guys can just go out and vote for me. The link's in the description below. You can vote every single day, and it really is gonna help me. If I can win that, that would be really awesome. It wouldn't be, I, would, I wouldn't even win if it wasn't for you guys voting for me. So Explorers, if that could work, that'd be amazing. Like I said, it's, Shorty, it's called the Shorty Awards. It's really interesting. But... Dude, what? Explorers, I have an idea. Let's leave John out here. I'm just gonna hop in the car and ditch him. You ready? Okay, he's, he's live. <laughs> Peace out, John! Sucker! <laughs> John, John's running out the car. We just ditched John. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know why I did that, but we just freaking ditched John out here. 
Oh, I gotta watch out. I gotta be careful though. This is crazy. Look at this. Look at it. It's just dipped down. Holy crap. Gotta be careful out here. Freaking playing in the woods. Okay, let's see if I can park over here. Oh, oh no, we're not broken down. I was just filming something in the dark woods. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, I wasn't driving with my lights off. That's too dangerous. I was just filming out here in the dark, but like not driving. Yeah, you can take a picture of my license plate. I'm not doing anything. I'm parked on the side of the road and I just stopped to film. I don't even know what the heck just went on over there. This girl pulls over and she's like, you gotta move your car. You're on private property. And like, I got some of it, but then I turned it off because that's when she started taking a picture of my license plate. I'm like, what the heck's going on? Like, I'm literally off on the side of the windy road. I'm parked away, I'm not even on the road. So you need to calm down, you know? Like, it's so stupid. So then she took a place, picture of my license plate. I call the, the this, this city's uh, police station. I'm just like, listen, if, if some crazy girl comes in and takes a picture of my license plate or trying to report me, I already called you guys, I did absolutely nothing, and I have the footage on, on, on my camera. So that's that. Anyways, we gotta get back to business. We gotta get back to work. Explorers, you wouldn't believe this, but inside here, there's over like 500 dead bodies, but it's like, they're super old. It's all like just human remains. It's just all bones now. It's, it's that's it. It's just literally skeleton bones. It's like Paris catacombs. But here, we can't go in. We have to go this way. Ah, what I like about exploring during the winter is that there's literally no spiders because everything's dead. Someone was here recently. There's a footstep. Check this out. Super freaky. I've never even really been in one of these things. Just like tombs and, and stuff here and there. But look at this. People actually came and smashed these open. Like to straight up rob people. It's so sad. It's weird that like I mean, I, I'm starting to believe or think that the bodies have been removed or some of them because what happened was the city was like in like a fight with like the people who, oh, who had family members buried here. And I guess what happened was they're like, oh, we're gonna take these bodies, we're gonna move them somewhere else. And then the city was like, well, you can't do that because the building's unsafe. So I don't know if they actually f did it all the way or not yet. 1934, 1995, some of them are decently new. This is crazy though. It's a whole freaking coffin just sticking out. Yeah, the ground's all ice. Dude, these flowers are like, they must, these flowers are gonna be like freaking 60 years old. Just laying here. 1927 above that one. 1931. I'm looking for some of them like dated way back. One of them, um, the, from an article I read, they said that this is freaking, there's some people in here from World War I inside here, which is insane. Stuff's probably gonna cave in soon. Rust's probably falling like metal. Everything's disintegrating. Yeah, everything's all blocked off. No one can come in here. Another section. Oh, dude, there's a freaking coffin over there. Where? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, see, we hit the end. Wow, what the heck? We are not opening anything. Yeah. <laughs> God, oh. everyone, yo, we respect the dead. We respect everything. Yes. This ain't no Logan Paul. Exactly. <laughs> just, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. We're not trying to do any... I'm just, I'm not even touching anything. We're just, I'm just looking. Wow. I'm oh. Oh, true. Thanks, man. Dude, look at this. Someone straight up robbed this one, and they left gloves. There's marbles in there too. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. Looks like someone is like slept in this one. Dude. This is insane. Straight up coffin. It's frozen in the ground too. Yeah. It's a nice coffin, the designs. But even, all right, even even if we even open, which we're not, I'm just saying, even if it opened, you're not gonna see like a body. True. Yeah. It's not gonna see anyone's eyeballs or ears. It's just gonna be straight up, yeah, a skull. 
Yeah, yeah. That's it's just all bowl. And it's just this is super old. Everything here. It is dying. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think we have trash places as well. It's pretty messed up. Yeah, no, I know. Oh, look at this. There's a sign. Dude, I do not want yeah. to die. It says unsafe right on it. Yeah. Let's get out of this place. It creeps me out. <laughs> well, we did what we had to do to get here. It was kind of a, I think the journey more of getting here was more exciting than just exploring this place. Explorers, we dipped right out of that place. Um, I, you know, it was it was just too crazy. We had to head out. We headed out here because at 10 p.m. every single night, we, we are here at Team United uh, Moy Lao. We just train, train, and train for boxing. Because you already know, if you guys don't know, if you know now, but you're going to know now, is that this boxing match at uh, February 4th in London. So we've been training. Uh, this guy, he's my trainer. His name's Matt. What's up, bros? Put him in. What's your Instagram shot? Uh, you know, you can follow me at uh, DJ underscore Fat Matt with a P H A T M A T T. And Fresh Beats Entertainment. Yo. I'm a DJ, you know, check me out. <laughs> That's uh. fun. Woo. But he's not only a DJ, he boxes, and his brother's an MMA fighter. He's, he's right here. Check, Bill. Point that out, look at that. He's oh, where is this? Andre Sukhamthath. <laughs> so how you going to Yo, Sukhamthath, yo. You guys already know, yo. The stop takedown's great. There's that flying knee, timed it perfectly. Puts Norby to sleep. Check it out. Boom. Ah! There he is, right there. There he is. Yo, well, I got it. If he watches this, he's gonna, he's gonna be laughing. Yo, let me get that pose. Do I, am I doing it? There you go, boy. There you go. Yeah. You already know. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, but honestly, yo, we've been, we've been here for like what, seven days now, guys? Eight. Eight, eight days now. It's going by so quick. Every day, just training and training. And um, yo, I'm already, I'm already, I lost like eight pounds already, but I'm trying to get muscle too. I'm trying to get it all down. And then, um, yeah, dude, I already got, I got hit actually really hard for the first time yesterday, but by Matt, it made me change my whole life oh, up. Wow, all what right. What did you guys say that for, bro? <laughs> <laughs>